with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. And welcome back, everyone. Bright sunshine, but not only that, calmer conditions too. Yesterday was windy at times. Today, a much different story. There may be a breeze at times, but the Susquehanna River looking like a pane of glass right now. Very, very calm and quiet. And this is great to see all the blue sky. Even though we've lost a lot of the leaves on the trees, you can still look across the mountains and see some beautiful colors up against that blue sky. Here's Shippensburg, too, showing you the calm conditions. The football field looking sharp there. Current temperatures, it's definitely on the chillier side, but this is right where we should be low to mid 50s for this time of the year. Upper 40s for Tower City and Lebanon, low 50s York and Lancaster. And let's show you the bigger picture. So we have calm conditions locally with high pressure in place, but that will begin to change. That we begin to see more clouds moving in tomorrow afternoon at this time, and then eventually. Pretty much an all day affair with rain on Friday. But let's first talk about our normals for this time of the year. 57 degrees, so again, low to mid 50s, right on par for today and really for most part moving into next week. Now, keep in mind, this is the big number on the almanac. We're almost at three and a half inches in a deficit of rainfall for the year. So that's where all this comes into play. Here is that big picture I mentioned. Quiet today because of high pressure, a front off to the west. But that front to the west and the moisture to the south with Nicole, that is a huge part of the forecast here for Friday into Saturday. And it really is going to change the pattern and the outlook here for the rest of the next seven to 10 days. So today, Enjoy this calm weather. Enjoy the sunshine. It's here all day long. Tomorrow morning, perhaps some valley fog in spots, but notice during the day, all of a sudden we're getting more of this milky appearance on precision cast. That's high clouds moving in. Thicker clouds Thursday night, and by rush hour Friday morning, I do expect that rain to develop. Now, it'll be mostly over southern areas, but again, pushing south to north, and then heavy rain at times during the day on Friday. Perhaps even some rumbles of thunder, too, something we'll have to watch for. But that heavy rain continues all day Friday, maybe a couple of lulls here and there. It doesn't exit until we get to early Saturday morning. Now, it's a question of how fast. Some of the model guidance keeps this rain around a little bit longer, say 8, 9, 10 a.m., but just something to watch. So again, the latest on Nicole at this point, we're just waiting for it to make landfall across Florida. It'll be moving into the space coast of Florida, the eastern side. A lot of rain already coming in. More to follow tonight through Friday. Notice the track here. It may briefly go into the Gulf of Mexico, but then it takes a hard right turn ahead of that front and brings us the heavy rain from the south. How much rain? We're still talking mainly about one to two inches of rain, but potential of over two inches. So just something to consider here in the 70 forecast that this weekend at least starts off a little bit active. The rest of Saturday, though, after the morning hours should be clearing. Blustery conditions, temperatures near 60 degrees. Sunday, Taylor, 46 for a high. So going down to the 40s, a little bit cooler than average. All right. But I think that's the way that week is going to settle out. The week before Thanksgiving looks chilly. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Dan. Stay with us. We'll be